It's game three of the World Series. The Phillies are turning to Noah Syndergaard on the mound, and facing him will be veteran right-hander Lance McCullers for the Houston Astros. Here to break down tonight's matchup is Connor Thomas of Locked On Phillies. How are you doing today, Connor? I'm doing great, Kale. Appreciate you having me again. Absolutely, absolutely. So the Phillies are making a little bit of adjustments to the rotation, going Noah Syndergaard in game three. What do you think we can expect out of the right-hander tonight? Well, he's the only guy on this Phillies starting rotation on the staff, really, that's had this type of experience at the World Series level. Now, he'll tell you himself, and he already did in his media availability ahead of game two, when the next game starter will talk, that he's a much more mature pitcher now, and it has been a long time since he made that start for the Mets against the Royals in the World Series. But I love that they're going with the veteran, a guy who's looked poised in his opportunities this postseason. And it also gives Ranger Suarez the opportunity to have an extra day of rest after coming out of the pen in game one. So I don't really have an issue with uh, Syndergaard throwing. And I think the uh, the having been here before, is it can't be understated. Phillies are coming off a game where they just saw a ton of curveballs from lefty Framber Valdez. And tonight, right-hander Lance McCullers also dominates with the curveball. Do you think that's what we can expect from Houston Astros starter tonight? Yeah, absolutely. Valdez had a lot of success with that. Now, I think more of it, uh, and his curveball is disgusting. It's not about that. But more of it with Valdez is that the Phillies don't see lefties all that well. Uh, McCullers, now you get a righty. And while you're seeing a dominant breaking ball still, it's from the side of the mound that the Phillies are a little bit more comfortable hitting against. So I'd expect a heavy diet of curveballs. I'd also expect the Phillies to handle it a lot better offensively than what they did in game two. With the right-hander back on the mound, you expect lefties Brandon Marsh and Bryson Stott to re-enter the lineup? Yes, this will be. Uh, well, this should be, I'll say, because Rob Thompson has pulled some surprises this postseason. But it should be the regular lineup with Stott back at shortstop and Brandon Marsh manning center field with the righty on the mound for the Houston Astros. Obviously, the World Series is shifting to Citizens Bank Park. It will be the Astros' first game in Philadelphia since their cheating scandal. Like it resulted in 2017. Subsequent investigation came out in the following years. Um, what kind of impact do you think the fans are going to have on the game tonight? And Do you think the trash cans will be out in full force? I think it'll be a huge impact on the game for multiple things reasons well first of all we have we've seen the video surfacing out of game two with everything going on Framber Valdez going through his hand kind of strangely we know about Martin Maldonado's bat that he used the illegal bat in game one which Phillies win that game but still I don't think there's anything serious there in those two incidents but the fan base is going to and they're certainly going to let Houston hear about that the previous cheating scandal and everything going on. And even without that, this is the toughest place to play in baseball right now, the city of Philadelphia at Citizens Bank Park. So it will make a huge impact having this series shift back home. It is a pivotal game three. Connor, who do you think is taking the game tonight? I actually really, really like the Phillies in this one simply because of the environment. This is the first World Series game since 2009. It's a huge moment, and we saw what the first playoff game was like against the Braves in the NLDS at Citizens Bank Park. Well, this is just another level on top of it. So I like the Phillies in a bullpen game, and I think they may get a little help from the weather. A rain delay, maybe cutting Lance McCullers' start short. Well, that's advantage Phillies as well, so I'm leaning their way in Game 3. You can catch Game 3 of the World Series tonight at 8 o'clock on Fox 43. Thanks for joining us today, Connor. Thanks for having me.